Hello and welcome back to the Lair of Centipedes. Except this video is not going to be about centipedes. But uh, anyway, we got some new additions to welcome to the collection, as you can see. So let's give them a look. Now what we have here is a combination of uh, some baby funnel webs and another cool mygalomorph spider called Paraembolibs boisei. Now the funnel webs, uh, they're babies. And they're of an undescribed tree-dwelling funnel web from, uh, I believe, the central coast of Queensland, so one of the most northerly distributed funnel webs in Australia. Anyway, enough chit-chat, let's get them into their boxes. Now these enclosures I've prepared for the funnel webs might, if anything, be a bit big, because judging by the glimpses I've seen of them in their packing, they are very small. Let's get the first little guy out. I have to be very cautious because Especially at the- oh, it really is tiny. Look at that. I just forgot- I forgot just how small funnel webs start out as. Alright, take a look at that. A uh, very- oh, whoopsies. A very, very tiny funnel web. Hopefully it's going to grow fast enough. Funnel webs seem to be reasonably fast growers, uh, provided they're fed often enough. So, hopefully that'll be the case for this species as well. I know it is definitely the case for Hadronic in Fensa. Come on, where are you at? I really don't want to miss it. I see you. There you are. Come on out, little fella. I've already done a, already done a bit of webbing. Take a look at that. I'm really sorry about the focus on this thing, by the way. But like I said, these baby funnel webs are really small. Oh. Hi. Hello, little fella. Now, just into the box. Come on. Come on. That was easy. And last of the funnel web babies. Now, I'm just gonna find it. Oh, 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 never mind. I'm blind. It's literally sitting right on top. I gotta say, when it comes to spiders, where'd it go? I am just paranoid about crushing it with my fingers. Oh, look at that. I'm handling a funnel web. Party time's over, little fella. Come on, get in the box. Right, got it on the paintbrush. Should be easy now. There we go. Guy decided he wanted to have a bit of an adventure, but uh, we got there in the end. Okay, now on to the rather more impressive exhibit. So these are the paraembolids, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Boise Eye that I mentioned before. Very heavy webbers as you can probably see. And they've got some pretty cool patterning on them as well judging by the photos. Let's see if we can get it into light. Oh yeah look at that, look at the nice stripes on the abdomen and the banding on the legs. And this is a juvenile, it's not a spiderling but it is a juvenile. And uh, well I'll just, oh yeah, spider silk is sticky. Sometimes to the point of being annoying. Oh, a bit camera shy, are you? That's fine. How about you? You sitting right at the top there. Hi. Come on. Get in. Oh, you are fast. Yeah, hold on more. Wow! Well, that worked out. It bolted and ran into one of the other empty enclosures I had prepared. Lucky, lucky me. Well, at least now I know that they can be bloody fast, so I'm more cautious now. Well, we got our last one, and this is an adult, I believe. Um, so yeah. Now, as I learned the hard way, these guys, while nowhere near as venomous, are a whole lot more athletically capable than the funnel webs. Ah, oh, take a look at those patterns. Tell me that is not a cool looking spider. Let's get the light on a bit more. Did that even do anything? I'm not even sure. But yeah. Awesome looking spider. And this is a temporary enclosure. I will get it a bigger one because I, I want to see a web a bit. But um, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, these guys took me by surprise. They arrived a day earlier than I expected. Now, don't bolt on me. I said don't bolt. Don't bolt please, please, please. Just stay in there. 
Stay in there and be a good girl. Yes, yes, you're a good girl, good girl. Okay. Yeah, look at that. That... Stop. That is one seriously cool looking spider, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how well they web up, because I'm a bit of a sucker for spiders that are heavy webbers. Now, before she decides to do a runner, I'm going to stick the lid on. Yeah, she's pretty jumpy. Right, and with that done, that's the end of this unboxing video. Just a very quick little, uh, very quick little film of some of my new additions. So thank you all very much for watching. That's it from me, and I'll see you next time.